Have you ever driven over the Dumbarton Bridge, looked across the water to see the hulking metal behemoth and wondered to yourself, what's the deal with that? Well, if you haven't, tough luck, because that's what today's video is about. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Keeping the theme with my last few videos, today's video is focusing on another abandoned rail line. The Dumbarton Bridge was built in 1910 for Southern Pacific, and it was the first bridge over the bay, shortening the journey between San Francisco and Oakland by 26 miles. The route was serviced by both freight and passenger trains until 1982 when the very last freight train rolled over the bridge. Tracing the route from its beginning, we come to the Redwood Junction Industrial Park in the heart of Redwood City. These tracks begin a straight line cutting across Redwood City, and our first stop is Fifth Avenue. At Fifth Avenue, you can see these signals that have been turned away from the tracks, which is normally a sign of abandonment. So you can see here, despite the fact that the signals are turned outwards away from the tracks, the light is still on, showing that this track is still active. Normally, signals dictate train movements, but due to the infrequent nature of appearances along this route, they have been shut down. While the route is still technically active, seeing actual movement is incredibly rare. Between the junction and Chilco Street, Caltrain occasionally stores maintenance equipment. And you can tell these are Caltrains because if you look at the marks, the letters, they say JPBX. Those are Caltrain's reporting marks, standing for Joint Powers Board and then a filler letter. And on the rarest of occasions, an actual train set can be seen, such as when I got lucky a few weeks ago near Marsh Road. Looking at this signal, you can see that the light is off, showing that these tracks are sadly abandoned. The tracks continue through East Palo Alto before reaching the bridge itself. From the East Palo Alto side, you can see both the rail bridge and the Hetch Hetchy pipes running next to each other. When the bridge was in operation, the center section would swing between open and closed positions to allow boats and trains to pass. Today, it's been permanently welded open. Crossing over the bay into the New York Slough, you can see another swing bridge that crossed the slough. This bridge operated in the same way as the main bridge, and you can see it from the New York Slough Trail in Newark. The route continues through Newark, where it joins the Union Pacific Coast Subdivision towards Oakland, San Jose, and even Los Angeles. Currently, this section of the Coast Sub sees the Coast Starlight three times a week, but there's a proposal to reroute Capital Corridor services over this line, so we'll see, I guess. Proposals for restarting rail service over this line make the rounds in the newspaper every few years, but they haven't amounted to anything besides proposals and studies. The most popular proposal appears to be constructing a new intermodal center at the Union City BART and running six Caltrains in each direction over the branch during the morning and afternoon peaks. This proposal would also require building a new connection in Fremont to allow trains to service Fremont Centerville Station, it would also require rebuilding the Dumbarton Bridge because people can't stop lighting it on fire, and also requires the rerouting of freight trains onto the nearby Nile subdivision. Whether or not this will ever happen isn't for me to say. I can only hope that I'll see it one day, but as it is, Caltrain kind of has their hands full. With luck, this dream can one day become a reality. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.